Hey, what's up ladies and gentlemen, this is David Benjamin from HealthyWildandFree.com. Today I want to answer the question, is yawning healthy? Now it's interesting because we've all yawned before and every one of us yawns, especially when we're tired and uh, sometimes at odd times, like before, uh, maybe before at school, before we take a test or before we go in to talk to the boss about something in the, in the workspace or whatever it may be. So uh, it's interesting that we all yawn at different times, uh, most of us before we go to sleep or when we wake up in those kind of transition phases of sleep before or after sleep or like I said when we're nervous. So uh, to answer the question is yawning healthy, that's kind of a tricky question. The answer is both yes and no because yawning is a natural process uh, that the brain and our, our physiology acts upon in order to create balance within our brain chemistry and within actually the temperature of our brain. So what happens is our body produces heat, obviously we're, we're heat producing beings, and heat rises. So naturally heat rises to our head. And if our head gets too hot, what do we do? We actually yawn. So yawning <sighs> stretches our jaw, stretches our mouth, and opens up and kind of releases heat from our head, believe it or not. So yawning, the first thing it does is actually releases heat from the brain. And research has actually found that during the summer months of the year, people actually yawn more than the winter months. So we're naturally hotter, we're naturally, you know, uh, we have more body heat because it's warmer out and we're, we're still, you know, heat-based beings. So we have more heat emitting from our, from our brain, from our head, and yawn, people yawn more in the summertime. So the first thing yawning does is help to relieve heat from the brain. The second thing yawning does is it actually improves and uh, kind of balances and harmonizes brain chemistry. So yawning, yawning, excuse me, yawning actually increases dopamine as well as serotonin, uh, which are happy feel-good chemicals that help your brain perform under pressure. So like I said before, before you take a test in school or before you go to talk to the boss or whatever it may be, uh, or you, before you speak on stage in front of an audience, you may yawn to actually improve your brain, brain chemistry in order to be more functionally uh, optimized for the circumstances of stress and pressure. So yawning is actually, like I said, releasing brain heat and balancing brain chemistry. So is that good or bad? What does that mean to us? Uh, it's good that it's releasing heat from the brain because if your brain's too hot, that's a good thing. It's kind of like a computer. Uh, when it becomes overheated, it has a fan to cool it off. We need that self-cooling, uh, self-regulating mechanism, which for us is yawning. But the issue becomes that when we yawn too often, that can mean something else. So if, for example, uh, you know, you're not yawning before a, a nervous-based event where you feel pressure or stress, whether it's speaking or talking to someone you feel is important or, or you know, something stressful, or going to bed or waking up, and I'll get to that in a minute, if you're just yawning a lot throughout the day, that could be a sign that your body is producing too much heat and you're yawning to uh, dispose, if you will, of that heat. What that could mean is that you're dehydrated or that your thyroid is too active, meaning you have hypothyroidism, which means your thyroid is producing hormones that heat your body up beyond what it should be, so your body's trying to cool itself down, the physiology's trying to act in a way to regulate, self-regulate, cool itself down. So, like I said, if you're yawning at the right times, before a stressful thing, or kind of around a stressful thing, or before sleep, or after sleep, that's just fine, it's healthy, and that yawning is actually good. It's kind of like yoga for your brain because it's stretching your brain, it's stretching the, the, uh, everything around your brain, it's kind of like relieving pressure and, and tension and stress in the brain, which gives you the happy brain chemistry and the balanced brain temperature. But if you are yawning all, the, all throughout the day, all the time, uh, it could mean that, like I said, your body's too hot all the time, you're dehydrated, and or you have hypothyroidism, or it could mean that you are just stressed all the time. You're, you're under, you feel constant stress, you feel constant pressure, and you're yawning to kind of relieve that and create a brain chemistry that sort of fights back. So uh, it's important to realize that yawning isn't bad or good. It's just when you yawn, is it the right time? And is it actually valid or is it validated? So hopefully this video clears some things up for you. I know it's kind of weird and kind of a crazy topic, but uh, there's been some interesting research on it. Some people, their old research was pointing towards yawning, uh, indicated that there wasn't enough oxygen in the brain. Uh, but 
newer research is showing it's more brain chemistry, it's more serotonin, dopamine, and, and hormones that are being changed, and that's why we yawn to create those. So, uh, and as far as going to sleep and waking up, the reason you yawn before going to sleep and or waking up is because your brain is actually preparing itself to go to sleep and to wake up again. So serotonin and dopamine are awake and asleep hormones and they regulate uh, and they work with your circadian rhythm and when you're going to sleep and waking up it's creating that brain chemistry to be to go to sleep or to awake uh, and you know to obviously release heat from the body as well that's, that's another effect. So uh, it's an interesting topic I wrote an article on it uh, as well uh, I haven't really seen anyone out there talking, or not a lot of people, I saw one article about is yawning healthy or not or whatever, but um, I wrote an article on my blog at healthforblogfree.com, I'll link that up right below this video. Um, it's kind of interesting and uh, just a cool topic, kind of interesting, cool to learn about our physiology, brain chemistry, and uh, how our body self-regulates itself. So thanks a lot for your time. Once again, my name is David Benjamin from healthforblogfree.com. Please make sure to like, favorite, comment, and share this video. Visit the article below, and I'll see you in the next video. Make sure to live healthy, well, and free. Bye.